massive iceberg has broken free in Antarctica. It's coming towards you. Oh my God. Look out. They made a movie on that. <laughs> they did. That is not what is happening. The chunk is huge, though. It's as big as the state of Delaware. Scientists have been keeping a close eye on this massive crack in the Antarctic Peninsula for years. It's been hanging on by a thread for months, but finally broke three this week. I was surprised to know how much uh, attention is being paid to all of these icebergs. There's groups watching all of these things. And it helps, too, to have now since the satellite era came into, into uh, existence back in the 50s, we can monitor these things sure. remotely and get to see much better what's happening. But the question is, why is it happening in a lot of cases? And in this case... Uh, we're really not entirely sure. Um, scientists obviously are thinking about climate change, but in this particular case, a, a lot of scientists are saying that's probably not it. It's probably just sort of the natural cycle of ice up there, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a big deal. But they said they're going to watch it because that could be an indication of global warming if it breaks off and how quickly, correct? Right. So yeah. th these gigantic chunks of ice, like what just broke off, sort of acts as a doorstop for the rest of the ice that's on the actual continent of Antarctica. This piece of ice that broke away is actually not attached to land. It was just sort of floating in the water like an ice cube. And of course, you, you worry when ice like this breaks away or melts, is it going to rise, uh, raise sea levels? We know that that will not happen with this because like an, an ice cube and a drink, mm -hmm. this has been floating in the liquid already. It's so already floating. It's already floating. So it's it just already... moving. Right. So that's okay. So yep. nothing to worry about there. I didn't realize that there was so much just kind of natural movement of ice. Yeah. And so something like this, which seems alarming, right? And it's a, a key change in the geography there because there, this was New here Mexico. and now off mm -hmm. it goes. Um, but besides that, there doesn't seem to be a tremendous, at least immediate impact. No, th there have been other pieces of ice that have broken off from this ice uh, sheet earlier in, in years past, and those have been linked to a warming climate. The one thing that everybody is sort of waiting to see is that this is 12 percent of the ice sheet there and as you know snow is a lot more reflective to, to sunlight than say like asphalt is you can get sure. a tan skiing during the winter just from that sun reflecting off the snow or the ice in this particular case but as this as this iceberg kind of floats away and water comes in behind it water is less reflective than ice and so this could change the temperature of Antarctica simply because you have 12% of what used to be reflecting a lot of sunlight back to space mm -hmm. gone now. And that's the question that, okay, well, will this start some sort of positive feedback where it starts getting mm -hmm. warmer because there's less reflection mm -hmm. and that melts more ice and then there's less reflection again. So we'll have to see. And this thing isn't melting anytime soon. No, it's going to be <laughs> uh, uh, dozens of years, yeah. if not 100 years, before it melts completely. Yeah.